Hi, and welcome to Level Up Cartooning, where our goal is to take the mystery out of the drawing process by breaking it into easy to follow steps. Before we get started, make sure you hit that thumbs up and the subscribe button as it helps this channel to grow, and hit the bell so you never miss a lesson. Okay, so today we're going to draw the one and only Bugs Bunny, one of the most iconic animated characters of all time, and probably right up there with Mickey Mouse as the most universally recognizable cartoon character in history. Bugs, along with the other Looney Tune characters, will be starring in the long-awaited movie Space Jam A New Legacy throughout the summer. And for that reason, I thought we would draw Bugs playing basketball. All you need to follow along with me is a pencil and piece of paper. Easy peasy, right? So let's get started. We're going to draw Bugs Bunny step by step, giving you the secret formula to be able to draw him again and again. If you've watched some of my other videos, then you know I use the character's head to figure out how big the entire character is. In this pose, Bugs is roughly four heads tall. In other words, however tall his head is, his entire body is four of those, not counting his ears or the basketball in his hand. All right, so let's start with that roadmap for Bugs Bunny shooting hoops. So there's our roadmap of Bugs Bunny. Now we're on to step two. In this step, we do what I call roughing out the features. I want to remind you that until the third and final step to draw as light as possible, you'll see that I use guidelines to help me to know where to put the eyes, nose, mouth, and some of the other things on Bugs. I don't want those guidelines in the final drawing, so I want to draw them as light as possible, light enough to be able to erase them very easily. So let's rough out Bugs's features.
Okay, so there are the roughed out features for Bugs Bunny. All right, with the roadmap done and the features roughed out, it's time for the final step. In step three, we get to have the fun. We get to draw the final details of Bugs. We don't have to guess where to put things because we've already done the hard work figuring all that out. In this step, it's okay to draw darker, but don't hammer that line, mindlessly retracing over the lines you've already drawn. Always look to tweak and improve until the very end. So let's draw in Bugs' details. All right, there you have it, Bugs Bunny shooting hoops. So how do you think you did? Understand, if you've never drawn Bugs, then you cannot expect to have drawn him perfectly. You'll notice I don't spend time coloring Bugs during this video because I want my lessons to focus solely on the drawing process. Now you have the secret formula, the process for drawing Bugs Bunny. With that, you can draw him again and again, and by all means, color him when you're done. I promise each time you draw him, it will be a little better and a little easier. I also promise the more you work with me, the better you're going to get at all of your cartoon characters. For those of you who want to go a little deeper, click on the link below for my free four-part drawing series where I spend more time explaining the details and the thinking behind each step in what I call the level up cartooning process. So now I'd love to see your drawing of b-ball bugs. If you can, take a picture and post it on either Facebook or Instagram, and don't forget to include the hashtag level up cartooning. I hope this video helped you. Remember to subscribe and thanks for joining me. Until next time, keep drawing my friends.